What is good, my friends? It's your favorite YouTube dealer. We got some Pac today. It's called Pac's Life featuring T.I. and Ashanti. And I'm very confused. It's, it's something that came out a while ago, 14 years ago, it says. So it was remastered 14 years ago. So I assume this is an actual Pac song. And I'm a huge Pac fan. He's my favorite artist ever, period. Don't think I've ever heard this. I could be wrong. Maybe I've heard it and I just don't remember the name, but I don't think that I've heard this. And I saw one of the homies had uploaded it. So I, you know, again, I don't really watch music reactions, but I look to see what some of the you know homies are doing every once in a while. And I saw this and I was like, what is that? I, I honestly assumed immediately that it was a new AI song. But then I saw 14 years ago and I was like, you know what? Let me bookmark this. Let's check this out for a live, not live stream, uh, for an upload. You know, we do, we do go live every Friday and Saturday on my main channel, Dwayne TV, link down below. I'm just saying. But let's dive into this and uh, let's see what this actually is. Uh-oh, 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 uh -oh, uh -oh. They ain't ready for this. Tell me why Ashanti still look the same today. Maybe even better. I'm going to be honest with you. Ashanti's one. Yo, listen, that woman different. Now, I'm, I'm going to guess that this is one of those songs where like Pac's vocals were put over a beat that they kind of molded to it. And then Ashanti and T.I. jumped on it, obviously, because Ashanti and stuff wasn't they weren't happening back when Pac was around. So this is, you know, not a collaboration where they were all in the studio together, which is hit or miss for me. I'm not always with the whole taking vocals and throwing them over a different beat or molding one to it. But it does come out dope every once in a while. Never figured that that same sell five million hit the charts like a madman, nothing but hits. Court cases got a face in multiple digits. Dodge the cop cars, look at how we come so far. Picture a high school dropout, rolling the double law. House full of happiness and drink. Way out, so in trouble, try to find me, can't. Never vision living longer than my 21st. Thought I'd be locked down, cracked out, or in the dirt. And though it hurts to see the change, it comes with the fame. Watch for gossip in the silly game. So Speaking down on me, this is the night. Why is everybody caught up in Pox life? To all y'all conversating on my life, mind your mother business. Everybody needs to chill. Everybody talk about Pox But we know all the same people, so we got the speed. You taught me first, fake, can't stop a G. And I'll put you in through metal like to me. So watch you lock you up and then was a shame to see. You know the cracker came and did the same thing to me. I get along with real this lane to be. Talking loud out of trying to f you me. Well, so I pull it out my pocket, let it you see. And now they all in the courtroom blaming me. See, we ain't live the same life, but represent the same struggle. Power to the real death to the suffer. The only thing I hate about old music videos is the censoring of the swear words. Nowadays, you don't get that because everybody's music videos are just put on YouTube. They don't have to worry about TRL or, you know, BET or like what, what station it's going to be on and what their rules are and everything like that. An artist just makes it, uploads it to YouTube, and we just we just watch it and we enjoy it. And it was their swear words, their swear words. So I, I didn't realize this going in. I don't know if there is a version of this that someone like matched up with the video that's uncensored. If so, I apologize. But this was the first one that had popped up, so I just dove right into it. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. When we do the live streams, we check out old hip-hop and stuff. Sometimes we tend to avoid some of the music videos so we can actually get to swear words. Because if there's a lot of them, it's just like, you're not even listening to a song at that point. You're just listening to, to blank bleeps. Like, hey, like it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's kind of weird. Pull it out for pocket, let it you see. And now they all in the courtroom blaming me. See, we ain't live the same life, but represent the same struggle. Power to the real, death to the suffer. Money over, just get to know it for your love. Death before the sign, I'll never talk to undercover. Live by the same rules. So my hands tattoo with the same sort of dude, with the same short views. Everybody needs to chill. Everybody talk about
I feel like when I hear that, I, I, okay, I, there's some part of this verse that almost sounds a little familiar to me. If anybody knows where these verses are from, like if there's an original out there, let me know. Like this isn't horrible, but like especially this verse, you can hear that it's like the way it's set on the beat. The flow is not like, it's not perfectly on and it bothers me because I'm just like, yo, listen, Pac probably wrapped this over some beat flawlessly and it was extremely dope and it still is dope because it's Pac. I'll say everything, I, I, I rock with everything Pac, but it's just like, it's not hitting properly on the beat everywhere like it should. And it's like, they, they molded it the best that they could, but that's why I don't necessarily like when people take vocals and they're like, well, yo, let's build a beat around it and throw some other people on it. And stuff like that. I will say Eminem did a pretty good job with the album that he did, the Loyal to the Game, I think it was called, or something like that. I've not listened to even the entirety of it, and the only reason I haven't is because I stopped listening after it was purely Pac. As far as like he went in the studio, threw this beat on, rapped to it, and that was what was released. When it became all this, hey, Pac vocals are out there, and people just start building beats around it and stuff. I just kind of lost interest in those as much as I like Pac because I'm I'm just like. This may not be a beat that he'd want to rap to. This may right, like it's not, it's not coming from Pac. The vocals are and the lyrics are, but you're now taking and molding the other feel of the song. And and I I just I don't know. Like sometimes it just bothers me because I just feel like it's not, it's not, it's not the genuine thing that you would have got from Pac. Full of cars that bounce, moving my tax in major weight, cause every dollar counts. Bust is jealous and happy is punk. They running off at the mouth till I fill it up with my bump. They jump my out to keep them wary while you fighting like you really bad. You scared? I've been knowing you for years. We was high school peers, junior high. I was itching it, and you was ready to die while you was dying and catching cases. To my in foreign places, and even though what they see my face and they buff Dying to hurry, still I ride. I'm never worried, Mr. Machiavelli. Tell me to ride, and I'ma ride. Pick my enemies out the crowd. And it's not the way I wanna live. My that's how it is. Only real, stay on top. Word up. I feel like there was no reason to even make this song a music video if you're gonna bleep out the majority of Pac's verse. There's like multiple lines in a row bleeped out. Like he's rapping, then all of a sudden it's just. Then I came and I. But you know that we, <laughs> like, what was the purpose? The beginning of the verse was dope. The whole like, got a bunch of cars that bounce and like that was perfectly on beat. But as it went on, it, it altered a little bit. And that's because whatever beat he originally rapped us to, it just didn't follow the same, the same, you know, it may not even have been the same BPM is what this was, which is most likely what the issue is. Everybody needs to cheer. to watch a little Ashanti though I ain't gonna lie to you I'm not gonna lie to you Ashanti different mm, this girl Woo. anyways <laughs> but no shout out to Pac shout out to Pac that again my favorite rapper ever ever and I'd like to get more of him up on the channel some of the videos tend to do pretty well some of them don't do all that well and again it's not just about views but just unfortunately that's the way the algorithm works on YouTube if something does not get much of a click-through rate then YouTube starts saying, well, this channel is not giving videos that these viewers want to see. So we're going to stop showing them these videos right from this channel. And we're going to move on and show other channels because there's millions of them out there and they're all making content. And so it's like you've got to like kind of keep within a, a, a range, right? You got to have a balance of like doing whatever it is you want, but at the same time trying to get shit that people want to click on, because if they don't, it's just going to kind of downgrade your channel, so to speak. So it's, it's, it's a tough one, but I want to continue to do Pac. So I'm going to keep throwing some stuff out there every so often, seeing how it does. And uh, especially if there's anything I come across that I've never heard like this, I don't recall ever hearing. So let me know if you guys have heard this down below, if you know where some of these verses might be from, because the second verse, I feel like I feel like I've heard some of it before. I could be wrong, though. But anyways, appreciate you. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one, homies.